Goon Hilly to find out a bit more about it. Now, Matt, this is known as Antenna Number no. 6, isn't it? But it does have another name as well. It does have another name. It's called Merlin. Uh, all the antennas are given Arthurian legend names. The very first one in 1962 was Arthur, Aerial 1, which was used to receive Telstar. Uh, the first transatlantic images coming across from the US. And we then started building more and more antennas and they've all been given then numerical numbers, numerical names, but also given Arthurian legend names as well. So what did this dish used to do? So what it used to do was commercial SATCOM communications and still does. It's one of our most agile antennas and we still use it for commercial TTNC for geostationary communications. But going forward, we see a, a need for commercial exploration. This private enterprise in the US and Europe and Japan are going to be developing private missions to the moon and beyond, maybe asteroids and, and Mars, and they're going to need communication. orbital speed of nearly 6,000 kilometers an hour to a soft touchdown on Mare Tranquillitatis. This was the first Apollo landing and it would prove to be the most arduous. Schermata l'hai vista? Sì, 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 ho visto, ho visto, grazie. Sarà mia cura prepararmi un po' di profili. Sì, perché così tu facci... Un'altra cosa... Un'altra cosa che ti volevo chiedere, come fai a prendere... Vai, vai. No, no, dimmi tu, dimmi tu Marco. scena ok bene adesso tu vedi in order to advance space technology development in Qatar SHALSAT has initiated development of new technology for the Qatar Amateur Radio Society as part of that initiative, SHL-2 will enable the, enable the Radio Amateur Satellite Corporation's first ever geostationary communication capability. That's going to connect users across the globe in real time, and it's expected to usher in a new exciting era for radio amateurs in the 21st century. Let's take a look at a video from SHL-SAT about their satellite. In 2010, the Qatar satellite company, SHL-SAT, was established to manage and develop a sustainable national satellite industry. 
entering into a strategic partnership with UTELSAT to operate a high-capacity satellite for Qatar's broadcasting, telecommunication and internet services. And Space Systems Laurel was selected to build the first high-performance satellite, SHL-1. It would take three years to build and weigh approximately six tons, eventually orbiting 36,000 kilometers above the Earth's surface. Space Systems Laurel provided SLSAT with an intensive two-year satellite engineering internship program for four engineers to become the country's first satellite engineers. In 2012, Ariane Space was selected to launch SL-1 from the French Guiana spaceport. And SL-1 entered into service on Qatar National Day 2013, with SLSAT's 24-7 management center in Doha monitoring TV channels, business and data services. In 2014, SLSAT selected the Mitsubishi Electric Company to build its second satellite. And in 2015, a state-of-the-art teleport facility began construction in Doha, which is now nearing completion and set to open by the end of 2018. Meanwhile, the Mitsubishi Electric Company completed work on SL2 and shipped it to SpaceX, Cape Canaveral, Florida. Now, SL2 is ready for launch, and the journey of SLSAT will continue. SLSAT, space to deliver your vision. Well, can I take a figure? Ten, nine.